What's up Video 4 Nation, Magic Bard here and I've got a pretty exciting tutorial for you guys today. Why don't we music video effect um, with emojis, text messages, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be a fun one. We're going to get into it really quickly. But before, I want to give some shout outs to Tom and Piak. Really appreciate the love guys. Thanks for leaving us a comment and letting us know what's good. With that being said, if you're new to Video 4, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to it so that way you'll be notified every time we put out a new tutorial every single week. Now, let's jump into it. Hey guys, yeah, so let's, um, this is the effect we're going to be creating right here and I'll show you really quickly what it looked like in the uh, Why Don't We music video. Girl, girl, and you see me, she that there are bad girls in Perry No, they wanna get married And some beautiful ones in Tokyo And some go to cap Okay, so basically that's what we're gonna be creating These little pop-up emoji um, text frames I guess you'll call them um, That kind of pop up all over the place And it looks like they're tracked to their head Okay, so I'll show you how to track it How to make the uh, little pop-up text message emoji and then um, you guys can get wild with it. So let's uh, jump into it and see what we can do. It's a fairly straightforward. What we're gonna do is take your clip, so I have mine right here, and just uh, drag it into a new composition. So now we have our nice clean clip right here. And the first thing we're gonna do is track wherever you wanna put that emoji. So if you wanna track the head, you can do that, but I'm going to track the cell phone so I'm gonna to go to my tracker controls so window and tracker and there we go and then we're gonna hit that track motion button and then take this tracking point and put it wherever you want your emoji text message to be um, I want mine on the phone so I'm gonna track the little camera on the phone right here and um, Let's see if we can open this up a little bit. There we go. And then just uh, analyze forward. So you can click this little analyze forward play button and let it track. And then for now, what I'm going to do is fast forward this tutorial. And keep in mind, if the tracker comes off of your point, just stop it, fix the point, and then replay it again. So I'm going to fast forward this for now. Okay, great guys. So once you have it all tracked, um, what we're going to do is add a new null object. So go to layer new null object and then we're going to edit the target to that null. Press OK and apply. Press OK and now we've got a nice null tracked right onto our camera on our phone. Okay, great. So that's the first step, getting that tracking point. Now what we want to do is create that little text message bubble thing. So I'm going to go into uh, the rectangle, the rounded rectangle tool, and I'm going to create a shape layer that looks like the uh, text message. So just kind of drag this guy out and I'll go with something maybe like this. And you can move move it around if you want. So. Um, then we're going to use the pen tool to create that little carrot thing. So I'm going to hold down shift so I get a straight line and then make just a little triangle like that. And that will be our text bubble. Okay, cool. So with the uh, shape layer selected, just kind of put it in place. And then what we're going to do is change this anchor point right here. So um, click on our little pan behind tool so we can move that anchor point and then just drag it and put it at the tip of our carrot right here okay and then um, we're going to use the arrow tool make sure we have it in place probably right about there and then all we have to do is take our pick whip tool and connect it to our null object so now wherever the camera goes our text message box goes there as well okay Great, so that's cool. Now what we can do is add stuff to the box. So we can add text, we can add emojis, and as you see right here, I have a couple of emojis that I'll drag into here. So I have a nice little hugging guy, and I'm gonna size him down, so press S for scale, and then fit him right into the box. And once he is in there, 
I can just take this pick whip tool and connect them to our shape layer and I'll just call this our uh, text box so that we know and now he will be connected there as well so in my original example you see that I did this little thing where it twirls around into a new emoji and then the our text box changes um, because they do that as well in the video here you can see her uh, devil changes into a nice heart emoji and then it changes to red so we're gonna do something similar to that um, so let's take our emoji and then flip it around as she brings the phone down so I'm going to first trim this to about here so just take the edge trim it down and we're gonna do a little rotation so I'm going to make this a 3d layer first and then I think I'm gonna use my Y rotation yeah exactly and we'll make it a uh, one two three four five six seven um, put a keyframe right there on your Y rotation seven frames out and then at the very end we're going to bring it to 90 degrees okay and then we're gonna take our second emoji we'll go with the kissing heart emoji drag it onto there and size this down as well till it fits in your box okay right there and then just trim it down to the end the edge of the hugging emoji and what we'll do here is make this a 3d layer as well and I can close this down and make sure you take your pick whip tool connect it to the text box so that we are solid and parented right there I'm gonna move him around just a little bit okay and then uh, let's keyframe that Y rotation and this time we're gonna go into the negative 90 degrees okay which is the opposite way and then go seven frames into the future and uh, bring that down to zero okay so now what we're gonna have is a nice little rotation into our kissing emoji heart emoji whatever you want to call it okay cool so now we've got that part settled with now what we want to do is change the color of this text box so what we can do to change both the box and then our little uh, triangle carrot is go to your effects and presets and type in fill and we're going to add that to our text box and make it white because that's what we want to start with and then right as a transition starts to happen which is let's see if I press U to see our keyframes right about here perfect and set a keyframe on that white and then on our last keyframe of this rotation right there I'm going to change the color to red okay and if I press U on my keyboard on when the text box is selected I can see that white change to red okay so this is a very cool uh, tool for changing the color of shape layers or PNG files or text anything like that is that you can keyframe that color and here's what you have okay cool guys so that's basically it and you can change this and do as many emojis as you want change the color of the text box you can make the text box longer okay say if you have actual text in it and not just um, not just emojis so you know if I wanted to drag this out I can do that as well and then put text inside it right and also one last thing before we end this one off guys um, the transition of how this thing pops up so really quickly just press S and make sure that your text box is selected and then just drag it out maybe 10 frames or I'll go with 12 set a keyframe for your scale and then drag it to the beginning and drop your scale down to zero percent and that way it will scale up into place and you can add a bounce if you want so if you want to do that just uh, bring it back three frames one two three and then make this scale maybe 110 so that way it will bounce up and then come back in like that 
okay and cool I mean that's pretty much it um, I guess you can also add one more thing on here which is turn on the motion blur for all of these okay so anything that we tracked and then turn on motion blur for your composition so that way whenever anything moves quickly the text box will also blur with the motion okay so this is a stylistic choice you obviously don't have to turn that on if you don't want these things blurred out but that's the effect that's how you do it hope you guys have fun with it all right guys i hope that tutorial helped you out and if it did please leave us a like let us know in the comment section if there's any type of visual effects or filmmaking tips you guys would like to know more about hopefully i can address those issues for you and help you out with any filmmaking video epic I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, guys, but I'm excited for you. I'm excited for the future. There's going to be a lot of cool tutorials coming out soon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Video Forward. I'm Magic Bard, and I'll see you guys on the next one.